coming. There is someone coming towards you, Scorpio, that is going to be so good for you. There is going to be someone coming towards you that is going to be so good for you. You are going to have an awakening to a life you've never even thought you could have or a life that you even hey, thought. Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. I'm Tiffany. This is Wasted Traditions Tarot. I read intuitively, so please remember, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I've already blessed my decks of cards. Let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to use Oracle and Tarot to find out what spirit needs you to know for this week ahead. I hope all is well with you, uh, Scorpio. And you are having a fantastic start to your week. If you didn't see last week's reading, I will link it in the cards as well as the in the description below for you, Scorpio. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know moving forward? Do tell. Oh, I got two cards. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit needs you to know. Root girl, the disowned self, male or female. Don't mind. Doesn't matter for the gender, male or female energies. Root girl, the disowned self. And then we have Skybridge, possibility for union. All right. Scorpio, let's see. What does spirit need you to know? The disowned self. Something in you is shifting, Scorpio. There is a shift. There is an ending. And I'm, I'm getting that you, you really need to ground yourself. You have to, you have to get grounded. You are disappointed in yourself for some reason, but you're able to come out of this. You're able to transform and transmute this energy of feeling doubting yourself actually right and then we have sky bridge possibility for union hmm someone's coming toward you for what reason we need to find out more and we're going to get some clarification from the tarot okay spirit what is this root girl for scorpio do tell Eight of Pentacles for you, Scorpio. So, what else? Determined. You are determined to come out of this funk. I'm feeling like, Scorpio, you have been a little down, a little depressed. Um, and it is going to take determination and hard work on you. Do not lose faith in yourself. You are capable to come out of this. We all make mistakes. We are not always where we want to be in our own timeline, and that's okay. Sometimes there is a detour on the timeline, but that doesn't mean we won't make it, Scorpio. So don't lose faith. One more spirit. And the Eight of Wands. All right, so with this... Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands for you, Scorpio. Definitely the determination and hard work. Um, you're going to need to call on your mental stamina. You're going to need to get grounded, root down into what you believe in, and root down into self. Come back into your body. Come back into yourself. Come back into your heart space. Root down, Scorpio. Root down to rise up. I love that saying. Root down to rise up. So in order to come up to the next level, you have to get grounded and root down in what you believe in. Stay hopeful. And you must, that is going to take hard work as the Eight of Pentacles is here to show us. And yet, with the Knight of Wands, Scorpio. Hmm. 
you're able to do it. The Knight of Wands is very powerful, um, swift. And the Knight of Wands is also de determined. And I want you to get that impulsivity in you to say, I'm doing this and I'm doing this now. I'm coming out of this funk, if you will. I'm coming out of this beef that I have with myself because I feel like you ha you're highly disappointed in yourself and you need to offer yourself a lot more grace, Scorpio. You need a lot more grace for yourself because you are still a human being. Now, the Sky Bridge, a possibility for union, definitely want to know more about this. Wow, wow. Four of Wands. Scorpio. This is interesting to because you're feeling a little low. What I'm feeling here is there is... I'm feeling like there is relationship coming in for you. Does this relationship... Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Scorpio, you have a relationship coming towards you. And what I feel spirit telling you is... You have to prepare yourself because there is a beautiful union coming toward you. This union will inspire you, but you have to inspire yourself first, Scorpio. You have to do the work. Work on yourself. Get rooted in the belief of self. Get rooted in the belief of your higher power. Do not lose hope. Stay determined. Go toward self-improvement with gazelle intensity, right? Because there is something, there is someone coming towards you, Scorpio, that is going to be so good for you. There is going to be someone coming towards you that is going to be so good for you. You are going to have an awakening to a life you've never even thought you could have or a life that you even thought you deserve but this person is coming in to show you how much you truly deserve to have a life of your desire Scorpio that's what I'm feeling but the work spirit is telling you do the work do not shy away from self-improvement to do the work because you have everything you need within you just have to get back Get back to basics, basics, get back to your faith, get back to your belief because someone beautiful is coming towards you. Beautiful, not just physically, but beautiful from their heart, beautiful from their mind and how they feed your mind, Scorpio, and how they are going to love you and inspire you and lift you up. You are absolutely deserving of a person like this. Your person and spirit is telling you, do the work, start now because they're coming towards you. All right, Scorpio, let's get her done.